It's a um, rainy, cloudy Monday this week here in Bacolod and I thought I would take time to just have a coffee break and have a little bit of a conversation. I don't know if you're going to have a good week this week or you're anticipating to be, you know, it's going to be a difficult week ahead of you. But let me share a few things that might help you. Uh, gain perspective as you face the challenges or maybe just the celebration of life that you might be having this week. Uh, our scripture is found in James chapter 5 and it's really a beautiful passage. It's a passage that was written by James of course, uh, written to a church that was undergoing difficult times. They were undergoing, uh, um, you know, challenging times. They were being hunted down. They were being persecuted, and now they are, you know, their life has been turned upside down. And they're asking questions and they're asking for wisdom uh, in uh, in facing all of these things. James chapter five, beginning from verse seven. Be patient, then, brothers and sisters, until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crops, patiently waiting for the autumn and the spring rains. You too, be patient and stand firm because the Lord's, the Lord is coming near. The Lord's coming is near. Do not grumble against one another, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. Brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, Take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we count as blessed those who have persevered. You have heard of Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy. As I've said, it can be a challenging week for you or it may not just be a week but a challenging few days or few months for you. And we go to uh, the book of James. And this book is chock full of practical advice with regards to uh, facing life and maybe some of the challenges that we might find ourselves in. And so he gives us a few solid advice, solid um, practical tips. And so I thought I'd share it with you uh, this morning in this uh, rainy, cloudy Monday morning. Here are a few things that uh, can help us um, endure or maybe gain perspective with regards to the challenges that we might be facing. First, we need to remember that all of these things are temporary. Our problems will pass. You know? Compared to what the Lord can is, is offering us, which is eternity. All of this is, of course, uh, temporary, momentary. Uh, it will not last. It will not be here forever. So it's just a season, it's just a phase that we will go through. I'm not minimizing your pain, I'm not minimizing your problems because your problems are, some, yes, they're difficult and they are hard to, to bear sometimes. But if you look at it from a perspective that, you know, all of these things are, you know, uh, can be overcome because the Lord has promised uh, ultimate victory then it allows us to have hope the Bible reminds us in James chapter 5 verse 10 my friends remember the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord take them as an example of patient endurance and under suffering they were able to put up with a lot of hardships because they know that it's not going to be, it's not going to last for forever. It's temporary. It's not going to last. Um, and so hold on. Second, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. We're going through difficult times. Yes, and when we are, when we are, when whenever we are facing difficulties like that, it's easy to be bogged down in the details. Right? We get frustrated, we get angry, we lash out to people and you know, 
and, and the situation around us. So it's easy for us to uh, to be affected by all of these things and overwhelm us. James reminds us, you must be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get anger. Don't get angry. Human anger does not produce righteousness God desires. James chapter 1 verses 19 to 20. So, you know, learn to choose your battles. Learn to let go of some of the details. Do you really need to uh, pay attention to those things or are they just part of the, you know, uh, small stuff? So those, those were the small stuff. Third, you have to remember that something good can come out of it, will come out of it. James reminds us God is doing something powerful through us. He writes, For you know that when your faith is tested, your endurance has a chance to grow. So let it, so let it grow, for then your endurance is fully developed. You will be perfect and complete, needing nothing. Something good will come out of this. You know, it might not look as if it's, you know, something good will turn up, but be patient, something good will come out. And then James reminds us not only to, you know, to have this perspective, but, you know, keep your eyes on God, trust Him. He is doing something powerful. You may not see it right now, it may not seem as if, you know, it's happening. When you trust God in spite of not having everything figured out, it pleases the Lord. It allows Him to um, see your, your faith. It gives you a proper perspective as well. Um, it pleases the Lord when you trust Him. Not only that, we have to remember our, that this is not the end of the story. You know, it may seem like, you know, there's no go you know getting out of your situation or something like that that's not true this is not the end of the story uh sometimes if, if you're in the middle of the story you know it can get confusing it can get messy because there's no resolution yet there's no uh clear conclusion yet it's okay just stick to it because we know that you know it's working out uh if it's not yet you know, if it's not yet, if it's if, if it's still confusing, then it's not yet the end. So wait for it. And then also remember that Jesus has promised that he is coming back. Uh, the Bible says, you must be patient. Do not give up hope because the Lord is coming soon. I don't know what your uh, personal convictions are with regards to the second coming, whether it is imminent or if it's but the important thing is that he is coming back and he will make right whatever is wrong he will correct whatever has been what are, what has what has been mistaken you know he will straighten what was crooked and so that's 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 something that we need to look at in the midst of all of these things and then of course lastly we will be rewarded one day that's going to be important over and over scripture has promised that God will reward our faith in eternity. James tells us God bless